UK retailer In Demand Toys posted a whole bunch of images of something we did not expect. Uh, War for Cybertron Siege has a new figure that we didn't know we were going to be getting in Greenlight and Dazzle Strike. Now, Greenlight is a specifically weird character that appeared in the background of old G1 episodes. Essentially, there was the famous episode, The Search for Alpha Trion, which introduced the female Autobots. Mm -hmm. And among the female Autobots was, of course, you know, Moon Racer, Chromia, Lita One, Firestar. And among those was also a whole bunch of unnamed female, uh, female Autobots. And one of those female Autobots was that of Greenlight. Now, the original character model was just one of the many character models that were cobbled together by Fleur O'Deary when he was making female characters for Transformers. In this case, what they're going to be doing is they're, they're redecoing and retooling the recent uh, Moonracer figure and uh, giving us green light. And, of course, also including a, uh, a uh, extra little rede- redeco of the Lionizer figure, too. So it's a nice little pack. Um, the fact that it comes with a weapon and stuff, I think this is going to be a, a special release because it's a deluxe toy that comes with an accessory. Um, we know that we do have a few other figures that are also going to be re- re- um, released in this same kind of manner. Uh, so this is something that's pretty intriguing and everything like that. And it's like it's, it's cool, too, because it's it's yet again, let's find a character that hasn't gotten a toy up to this point even if it's a background character. Yeah, more um we're getting a lot of uh female characters that it just is this was this character voiced or just background just just straight up a background character. <laughs> just it like I literally think that's pretty cool. Even even the name itself, like the name that it possesses of Greenlight, um the character was just a background character and would not like in the scripts of the of the of the original episode, uh, Search for Alpha Trion, just, you know, named, unnamed, you know, female Autobot. It wasn't until years later when Fun Publication would do, you know, supplemental material and stuff, did the character actually get a name. And then, obviously, in the IDW comics, when they had to pad out the female Autobots and include other characters, again, Greenlight appeared and was named. So it adds to something there. This is pretty cool. Um, and it just, it, it's yet another female Autobot to add to your ranks. I mean, at this point now, I'm kind of going like, man, I think like, you know, you could go through the entire lineage of uh, female Transformer characters and it's like, it, it looks like they're really trying to make the most mileage out of these female body types that they have. I like think these- for this one in particular, I, this is your, your new, uh, seeker set. This is your new seeker set. You know what I mean? And all and of them are Autobots too, on top of that too. Well, it's because like the mold was originally Moon Racer, and then mm-hmm. they retooled it to make Firestar or um, or uh, Nova Star, as she was called uh, in you know today because of licensing. Mm-hmm. So and and now it's retooled, repainted to make you know this character here Greenlight. So and I I just really like that it's yet another background. Like the fact that a background character could get a brand new toy uh, and get its first toy gives me a lot of hope for some other really weird background characters. Like there was a character called Big Red in mm-hmm. the old in the old G1 comics and he he I don't I don't even know what he turned into. He was just this big red-looking Autobot character and you know so <laughs> so many things have been like written about um, I, him. I, I I can probably see that they they can't name him Big Red because of oh, the gum. Oh, they won't name him. They won't yeah, they won't name him Big Red because of the gum, of course. Um, just kiss a little longer, <laughs> longer with big red. Anyways, um, I don't think they'll call him that, but it's just like, I could see his design somehow maybe crossing over into a toy in the future or I'm trying just my like... best to not continue singing that song <laughs> right here. <laughs> That's a super like late eighties <laughs> commercial. Like, did he even make big red anymore? Anyways, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Probably not. Maybe, maybe in the States still. Um, but either way, like this is really cool. I really dig this, um, especially since it's not that bad a mold either. Like the, I really liked uh, the, the original Moon Racer release. I've yet mm. to find Nova Star in the wild yet, but I will pick her up whenever I get a chance to. Mm. So, 
really cool. This is awesome. And I mean, it gives me hope for, I mean, whatever they want to do in the future, if they want to tackle some other really cool background characters. I mean, we got, you know, ever since that we got the Computron Combiner Wars box set and we got the character of Scrounge. For mm. people who don't know who Scrounge is, Scrounge was like a one-issue character. He was a Transformer that turned into a wheel. That's all he turned <laughs> into. That was literally his alt mode. He turned into a wheel. One-issue one character, and that was that. They took the Computron box set, and they were just like, well, we got to throw in a little something extra, extra. So they took the Cosmos mold, which it turns into a flying saucer. If you turn right. a flying saucer sideways, it's kind of a wheel. Mm -hmm. And they just repainted him and called him Scrounge. And it was like, wow, like that's pretty awesome. You know, so the fact that like even a small character like Scrounge could get a toy, it opened up the floodgates to now like anything is possible. And that's what I love now with Transformers is now anything is possible. Anything, even the most wackiest idea. Like there used to be a time where you could add, you know, rhyme or reason or logic of, well, well why would, like if someone would have, you know, t two, three weeks ago said to me, well, why would they do a release of this character Greenlight? I mean, she's just a background character with no story or fiction or history. Yeah, and that's not stopped any other releases before. Yeah, exactly. So, characters like Bludgeon like practically revel in stuff like that. So the point being is this is awesome. Definitely interested in this. And it just adds to more of the mystique of the Transformers Siege line up to this point.